you? Say that again. Yeah, 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 we're club based. Um, just literally just arrived in the last half an hour. So as coaches, um, we'll review the game before the players come in later on, and then we'll do a COVID test. Now, is there any update on Scott Lyson yet, or what's happening with him? No, not as yet. I can't give you any any further information on that. Besides that, obviously he pulled up sore um, with a knee knock from the game, but our medical staff will assess him um, this afternoon, and obviously assess him throughout the week. Anyone else since the weekend who didn't pull up well or any issues? No, nah, not not from my knowledge. Um, all reports are is that uh, yeah, it was pretty good. We we got through unscathed in that in that case. Besides, obviously, Scooter. Uh, the AFL's just announced that the pre-finals buy is gone. How do you how do you feel about that as a as a coaching group? Do you feel that works to your advantage because you've got some momentum at the moment, or would have you appreciated a little spell? No, look, it's yeah. I suppose it's got pros and cons, but um, for us, um, you know, as cliche as it sounds, you know, we've got a week to get through first, and that's obviously the Bulldogs. Um, and look, yeah, momentum's a good thing for us at the moment. Uh, we've had some players come back from some time out, uh, so yeah, look, either way, um, it might benefit other sides, but for us, um, yeah, we'll just keep focusing on week to week. And um, if it is that, if that's what it is. Um, that there's no uh, pre-finals buy, um, we'll just move forward and uh, and go with it. Okay, dealing with the Western Bulldogs brings up the question of the top four side. Does, does that echo among you guys that you still haven't got a, a scout from among your pacers that are on the league at the moment? I might echo externally, um, but internally, it's another great challenge for our group um, to test ourselves against a, a side that's going to be thereabouts, and um, no better opportunity to prep ourselves in the finals by playing the Bulldogs. You don't think it would um, sort of leave people with question marks going into September if you haven't got one of those scouts? Well, that's for people that have the question marks, but internally, we've got to make sure that we take care of our own business, and um, we'll get through that week first, and um, we're always looking to win from each week. Um, but external noise um, won't distract us from what we're about uh, internally. One of the questions that's always posed to teams when they have bad starts is can you ever balance an answer to it? Have you worked it out yet? Um, depends. Oh, look, we all like to um, get out of the blocks. Um, any team would. Um, but it's how we finish games. And uh, we finish games with wins. Um, we've been challenged by sides. But we're no different to any other side in the competition. And um, yeah, look, we, we acknowledge that we probably haven't started the, the way that we would like to over the last two weeks. But we're super impressed with being how to uh, finish the games as we have. Is the biggest test of your midfield group be assertive earlier than they are at the moment? Oh, look, uh, we, once again, we have our challenges. Um, you know, we, we've come up against some, um, some mid, midfield groups. Uh, that um, you know that might not have the names as such, but they play a certain way, and um, we're we're a strong midfield that runs deep. Um, we've uh, been able to introduce um, Dersma, Butters, and Rosie back into that, and gaining match fitness from them um, is vitally important moving forward. And the connect between midfield and forward, how are you seeing that at the moment? Yeah, look, we're improving from week to week. You know, we've kicked what, 21 goals on the weekend. Um, we would we obviously would like to. Uh, there's probably maybe another handful of goals um, with maybe some better execution, but definitely our connection um, is much improved. I'll land over to everyone else. Hey, Jared. Um, when you talk about the internal noise and external noise and questions about where you're at, what sort of belief does it give your group then if you are to knock off the Bulldogs ahead of finals? Oh, look, every win gives you belief. And when you're playing the top sides, um, yeah, we, yeah, obviously, um, yeah, that's obviously beneficial to our group. Um, but every win gives you belief from week to week. And uh, we're playing against a side this week and the Bulldogs that uh, are there to secure a top four. And, and we're looking to hopefully go even higher. But um, yeah, it's a great opportunity for us. Um, yeah, we get the win. Obviously, it's going to give us great belief. How much does it help? When you know, when you get into sort of crunch finals positions like you were last year, and you know your players can rely on good memories against the better teams, how much will beating a team like that, or even a first final, say, help when it gets to the real business end of the season? Just for players to forge sort of positive memories. Obviously, you know, when 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 you 
play games of football, regardless of whether they're uh, in the top eight, bottom eight, when you're playing teams um, that take you to that nth degree of um, finding a way to win, which we had a couple of weeks ago with the Crows, I think that installs resilience within our playing group, knowing that regardless of the situation in the game and whoever we're playing, that we find a way to win. Um, yes, um, playing top sides, you've got to go that extra yard. Um, and, and we've shown that this year, that our best football is good enough. So do you feel like players have that already? Oh, I do. I definitely believe within this group. And it's not just the 22 that play. We've spoken about squad mentality this year. We've had to play a lot of numbers um, in, in our um, first side um, th through injury. Um, so we have a um, great belief within this playing group. This, um, last one for me, does Sam Hayes have a, a little nervy week ahead with Scott under a cloud? Or do you sort of go back to the uh, Pete Laddams as your primary option? Yeah, well, look, obviously, if, if Scott's not right by the end of the week, um, yeah, look, Pete showed in the absence of uh, Scott in the last quarter that uh, he really stepped up, and it's the growth in, in Peter's game as well. But, yeah, look, we will make that decision as to um, whether it's the, the two rucks or, or we go with what we actually ended the game with, and that was Todd Marshall did some ruck work for us as well, and we know Charlie can do that. Thanks, mate. No worries. Hey, Jared, just one on Zach Butters. Obviously, a couple of uh, striking finds from the weekend. Do you have a chat with him about that and just maybe not leaving the arm in like that, particularly since you, you just got him back to some good football? Yeah, well, look, for Zach, you know, it's, um, you don't want to take away from uh, being aggressive to the ball and to the man. Um, it's probably just more about his method and making sure that he's not careless in any of his actions. Um, I'm sure Ken might have a quiet word to him, but look, you, uh, you, can, you can't uh, hold Zach back. He's, um, he's a guy that attacks the, the ball a fair player um, and obviously attacks the body hard and we love that about him. Thanks, mate. Hey, Jared, can I just ask, do you feel like you're better placed this time around than last year if you were to draw a comparison between how well you're going? Yeah, I, th I do believe we are. Um, we've had to um, really sort of dig deep this year, as I mentioned, um, through a squad mentality. Um, I know it was talked about that we, I think, lost three or four games up until the halfway mark of the season and, and people were jumping on us that, you know, were we repeating what we were repeating last year? And um, we're now looking at it that we've only won one less game. Um, we've got more games in the players, um, you know, from players that didn't play a lot of football last year. So our depth in our squad um, is greater and uh, we've had to work hard to get to our position to where we are now and we get a great opportunity to uh, round out our home and away season before we enter the finals with, against Bulldogs. So I think we are in a far better place than where we were this time last year. Clearly has shown that he's just one of the gang's unstoppable men down back. I mean, he's, he's just a, a rock in defence for you. Are you preparing for teams to play him a little differently to try and drag him away? And how do you keep him as effective as he has been? Yeah, it was hard to keep a lead down. Um, regardless, he's had, he's had some close checking in games where he's still been dominant. Um, but we feel like we've got a good mix down, down back there with Tommy Jonas, our captain. You know, Trent McKenzie's been there. Tommy Cleary did his job. And like Ryan Burton's been in fantastic form. So I think they're complementing each other, which is allowing Aaliyah to be dominant. Um, but should teams come to do that, I think we've got other options as well. Thanks, mate. All right. All good? All good, everybody. All good? All good. Uh, Dan, Aaron? Yes? Don't Stephen Motlock know, what's the word on his um, uh, feel after the game? Yeah, for more reports, he got through well. Um, Got, got a bit of the football, um, played the position we wanted him to play. Uh, but yeah, got through, which was pleasing. Um, as did, obviously, Sam Pell Pepper did well, Jared Leanett. Um, there's some guys sort of really sort of keeping the pressure uh, on the guys that are playing at the moment um, in the ones. So yeah, look, it was pleasing for him to get through um, after being out for four weeks. Thank you. Jared, is there any more information on actually Scotty's knee, what he's actually done to it? Like, we, we just uh, understand that it was soreness, but there was both no real clarification on what he's actually done. No, not, not exactly what it is. All I know it was a bit of knee on knee, and that's what Ruckman get. Um, and Scotty's um, uh, had obviously knee issues over his career, um, left and right knees. Unfortunately, in, in the role that he plays uh, bouncing around in the ruck there, um, it was a bit of knee on knee. But to the extent of it, I can't give you that detail, and we'll confirm that over the next, I suppose, 48 to 72 hours. Do you expect him to have a scan on it? Oh, look, that's up to the medical staff. I dare say they'll do their due diligence and uh, check everything to make sure he's 100% right. Thanks, mate. No worries. Thanks, Jared. 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 Thanks, Jared.
We're good. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, guys.